Hello there. Season's greetings. So I have my Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian Warrior Holiday Edition. I was just able to pick this up at Target. It's a Target exclusive. It's got the Mandalorian outfit or the mold. He's got the Christmas sweater. He's ready to go to a party. Um, and he's got his holiday colored gun and his little buddy who uh, looks like he's got a nice fur coat. The back is the, uh, I think it's standard across all of the, there's no pictures of other lines. So, and the box is all mashed up. That's the way I got it from Target. So I have no hesitation with just tearing this guy open. So let's take a closer look at the figure. All right, so uh, box strength, I'd say it's, it's a medium. So first part of the review, the box is doing a good job holding the figure in. Uh, it got smashed and it doesn't look like the figure broke, so that's, that's promising. The plastic packaging did its job. All right, now let's take a look. Let's uh, pop him out of there. Uh, usually when I pop him out, I raise up their arm or leg and then you can just slide the rest out. It relieves a lot of the pressure holding him in. And his little buddy, let's get him out there. And let's get his weapon out there. All right. So let's take a closer look. Let's get him to stand, put him in frame. Uh, he's a little, he's bulky, so he's a little bit heavier, like a lot of the Mandalorian or Boba Fett figures. And let's see about his gun. All right, so I'm having a little bit of trouble getting it into his hand. Um, the thickness of the handle and the shape of his fingers, he kind of curls in a little bit, so I don't want to put too much pressure on it. So uh, I'm gonna see if the other hand works better. I've had this issue in the past uh, with some other figures. Usually it's just one hand, not both. So it's just the way that the, the fingers fold when they make them. You can usually flex them out. Yeah, so this hand it goes perfectly on. So let's stand him up and oh, look at his, uh, he's got his buddy. Uh, he might've actually got that for Christmas last year. They seem really close. Um, pets for Christmas is usually not a good idea, but uh, as for Mandalorians, that is the way. So I don't think he was intended to go there, but his buddy sits right on his shoulder, so I I wouldn't be surprised if that's how I display him. Uh, just looking at the gun, I'm not too big of a fan of him with it. I might use it in some action scenes or some stop motions, but I'm probably not, not going to display him with it. Um, yeah, just... I prefer the smaller blaster type guns when I'm displaying them. It's got a little peg on it. I'm not sure if I could slide that in somewhere on his back. Um, or at least, actually that's interesting. Um, so he's got gun holsters on the side because that's the figure mold, but he does not come with gun holsters. So I would probably maybe take some extra guns from some of my other figures and put them in there so he looks complete. So it doesn't look like I, I lost the pieces. And his buddy is just adorable, so... He's just, uh, he's probably going to have some good, good times when it snows out. All right, so let's take a look at him standing. And yeah, that is just a nice, vibrant, good-looking figure. Yeah, I feel like just looking at him. Ah, and he fell over. He's too much of the eggnog, I'd say. Someone spiked the eggnog. Uh, Mandalorians typically don't uh, partake in too much partying, so the eggnog really hit him hard. So he's going to have to work on that or just make sure that uh, he only drinks uh, things where he opens up the cap itself. So I'm just checking off his feet, and uh, he did fall over. His, leg, his uh, ankles are a little bit loose, the one was. The knee joints are really tight so I'm gonna have to work those in uh, for to get some poses the arms are great they go up and down um, here is his imitation of a Christmas star so I could probably put him on top of the Christmas tree if I can't find my star or my angel uh, he could easily serve that purpose so if you're able to pick this up you really get your money's worth that he can uh, cover for a figure a decoration or an ornament so now let's see what sort of fun poses we can get in um, actually, it kind of looks like he's disco dancing, um, and just saying that out loud, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to make a stop motion of him dancing to some holiday music at the end of this, so stick around for after this. I will definitely be doing a, a little dance with him. He's just, look at those moves. You can't, 
You can't not have him dance. It's in his soul. All right, so I'm just, uh, when I was moving him around, I noticed that he's got very limited mobility on his elbow, on his right hand. Um, it's because of his arm guard, so it does not go up too well. That's going to limit him busting some moves. But his, his left arm, that actually, you can get it almost halfway. So it's a little bit more flexible. But again, you can just, you work with the bounds of what the figure are. So uh, I have no concern. It's still an absolutely beautiful figure. Everything else about it moves fantastic. And yeah, he's just, look at him. He's just absolutely gorgeous. I love the, the symbols on him, on his sweater, the little Boba Fett helmet, his little buddy. And he's just super festive. And the weapon, I, I'll see what I can come up with to see if I want to display him with it. But otherwise, beautiful figure. And I'm really happy I was able to find this. So, thumbs up. Thanks for watching.